In this video, I'll quickly show you how to create low-res pixel art out of real images, and we're going to do that using GIMP. So first we need to find an image, and I'm going to grab one from pixabay.com. So pixabay is a great place you can search for images and vector art and all kinds of things. I'm just going to search for a picture of a tree, and it helps if you do have vector art. Uh, we might be able to do like this tree here, or maybe this one here. We could maybe see if we can get this one. Uh, your background, the more things going on in your background, the more complicated it's going to be. So we'll download the full version of this one. And then we'll also, uh, there was a really good one here. If you can find one that has already a white background. So this is more of like a, a clip art, more of a vector art type tree with a transparent background. This will be a perfect candidate for us. Uh, and actually we can get the smallest version of this one. This will be a good candidate for converting to pixel art. So I download both of these, and then I just need to uh, bring them into uh, GIMP here. I suppose this would work in Photoshop too, but the steps might be a little bit different. Uh, if you're not familiar with GIMP, it's free open source software, by the way. Let me just drag these uh, in that I downloaded. And so the first one, we'll try, we'll try the easier one first. I'll left click and drag this in. <clears throat> so we see we have an image here, and really to turn this into pixel art, all we need to do is scale it down to a smaller size. But a good thing to do first to kind of get the colors we want, this one we may, we may not have to, we'll do that in the next step. We just go to image, uh, scale image, and then we'll just change the size down. So we'll change this instead of 592 pixels wide by 640 pixels tall, let's change it to something more like 32 by 35, I guess. And then we'll just go scale, and now that's all of a sudden scaled down, we can hold down the control, or what is it, the shift and plus key on the keyboard, and now we have sort of a little pixel art thing of tree here. So this is just pixels with a white, or with a transparent background. We could put it on a background if we want to, by going to the fill bucket, and then getting the white color and just uh, filling that in. I suppose we should have done that beforehand, because now we have some transparency in there. Or better yet, we could copy it to a different layer and put it on, uh, if we go to new layer, and then we just fill this layer with white and then change this. There we go. So let me zoom out here. Oh, my tools are all in the wrong places. There we go. So now we have a nice pixel art tree that's 32 by 32, made up of all these little green and brown pixels. So that's the easy way to do it. Let's try the harder way. So let's go file, or actually let's just close out of this. We won't save it. And I'm gonna drag in this other one, so a real picture. Now this might even be, I'm not sure if this is a real picture or not. But suppose you went out and took a picture of a tree and had a, a pretty good background without too much going on. We'd select the entire tree, and then we just go to Image, Crop to Selection. And then I'll hold down the Shift key and the plus and zoom in on this. <clears throat> and now, this, is, this one has a lot more going on to it, uh, going on with it. So we have a lot of different, if I zoom in here, we see we have a lot of different colors going on because this is more of a real picture or a painting, but it's not as simple as that vector art in the last one. So with this one, what we want to do first is uh, make sure everything is selected. We go to select all, and then we need to go to colors, and we go to this posterize, posterize, <clears throat> and this brings up a, a scale here we can slide. And the higher the number here, the more kind of colors and complexity it has. And the lower the number, the less colors. It sort of groups <clears throat> similar colors together. And so we're going to turn this down, maybe turn it down to, uh, uh, with, it depends on which one we're working with. But you see, the, the lower we go, it starts to look like really old, early 90s or 80s graphics. So depending on the type of look you're doing, you could do this really low and then change those colors in there. But I may do this... Um, yeah, let's do it like four, and then we go OK. Uh, and then what we probably want to do is actually cut this uh, tree out from the background. And so we can grab our selection tool, and then we'll just freehand select just the tree out here. And there's a more, there's a better way to do this, but for now I'm just going to very quickly just freehand select all of this, the outside of this tree. Because when we go down to pixels, it, it doesn't actually matter if we're how exact we are. So we'll come here. You'll see what I mean by that. So we'll cut out just certain parts of this. There we go. And then we just need to go to, um, I can go Control X on my keyboard. We'll get a brand new layer over here. And then go uh, Control, uh, 
oh, actually we'll do this. We'll go Control V on this one, and then we'll just uh, anchor that and delete this old layer. Right click and go to delete. So now we have this tree cut out, and then we're going to go to image and scale image. And again, this is 600 by 400, uh, this particular one. So our target is going to be somewhere lower than 64. So maybe we'll do um, we'll do 32 on this one, 32 by 48 for now, and we'll go scale. And now when we zoom in here, we can go to uh, shift and plus to zoom in, and we see we have a nice tree. Maybe that's too small. Maybe that's smaller than we wanted. So we could go Control Z and go image scale image. Maybe we should do 64 on this one. So. 64 here, 64 by 43 scale, and we have a pretty good um, tree, you know, pixel art tree. Um, we probably want to crop in to be just the extents of this. So we'll kind of crop in here. Maybe we want this to be a nice uniform thing too, so we can look at the bottom and make sure we're getting it. Uh, I guess it's a little bit wider than this tall, but anyway, anyway, we can crop in there. Image crop to selection. So now we have a nice tree here, and then we can go to file. And we can export this as just our little PNG image that's going to be whatever that was, 64 by 50 pixels. We can call it tree.jpg and then go to uh, export. I'll export it on the desktop. And now we have a nice, uh, well, this will be a JPG image, so it's going to have a, uh, it'll put it on a background color. And then we can come in if we want to change the colors. We can uh, do this select by color. And we can click on this. It'll select all the colors of that pixel. So we see there's only a few pixels we're working with here. And if we want to change the color, oh, and actually this one's, um, you, we can adjust this threshold. It, it's it's selecting colors that are, that are close to that. So adjusting this threshold here. Sometimes this will be uh, docked over here. I have mine detached for this video. But you select a, a certain color, put the threshold to where you want, and then you can change these light ones. Maybe we don't want so much dark shadows in here. We want that to be a different color. So we can just choose what color we want those to be. Or maybe we want to have like a an orange, uh, maybe an orange hue like the sun's kind of there or something. I don't know if that's going to look good. And then we can go to the paint bucket and fill those in. And now, or uh, we can fill all of those in though, can't we? Oh, well, yeah, one way to do it is while it's selected, we can just grab the brush and draw over top of all those. So we can add in, and then if we don't like that, which like I don't really, we could do it some more uh, green, add some different color of greenish blue in there. It's a darker green and blue. So we can change our pixels in here. Anyway, this has kind of been a little bit of a disorganized quick video, but hopefully that's showing you how you can use GIMP to scale any type of image down and convert it into pixel art. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.